you know, the um, Olympic officials, the U.S. track and field, the anti-doping agencies now have a decision before them. Um, unfortunately, you will not be able to compete in the Olympics in your in your race, your individual race, 100 meters. Um, but there is a chance. It's it's a small chance, but there's a chance you could go to the Olympics and take part in the relay. Are you hopeful for that? Is that what you're holding out hope for at this moment? Right now, I'm just putting all of my time and energy into dealing with what I need to do with to heal myself. So if I'm allowed to receive that blessing, then I'm grateful for it. But if not right now, I'm really just focus on myself. You know, um, what would your message be to those who are considering that right now, who are thinking about that, and to your fans, you know, who have fallen in love with you and were so proud of your performance and maybe crushed just as you are in that moment? What would you want to say to them? I would like to say to my fans and my family, to my sponsorship, um, to the haters, too. I, I apologize as much as I'm disappointed. I know that when I swim on the track, I don't represent myself. I represent a community that has shown me great support, great love. And to y'all, I, I feel y'all. And so I apologize for the fact that I didn't know how to control my emotions or deal with my emotions during that time. Um, and to the, and when I would just leave with my fans or I would just leave out there is that like I tweeted and said yesterday, I'm human. We're human. Um, my statement, what I always say in my interviews, um, I want to be as transparent as possible with you guys, whether it's good, whether it's bad. But when it comes to Shakira Richardson, it's never been a steroid. It will never be a steroid attached to the name Shakira Richardson. The charge and what the, the situation was, was marijuana. I'm not encouraging anybody to do it. I'm not saying, oh, don't do it or, or anything like that. But if you choose to do things um, in your personal time or things like that, you just should know or be aware of the consequences or just know or just find different ways to just cope or do what it is that you that will make you feel better. But sitting here, I, I just say, don't judge me because I am human, I'm, I'm you. I just happen to run a little faster. Um, okay. I understand there's gonna be people that still have something to say that don't necessarily understand. And I wouldn't even call them haters if that's uh, if they wanna choose to show their character of, of a person, even after me saying what I, it, I, I've said um, and putting myself out there then that's just on you, your character, and you have to live with that. But I greatly appreciate being able to tell my side of the story. And like I said to my fans, my family, um, my sponsorship, and the haters, I greatly apologize if I let you guys down, and I did. And I just want to let y'all know this will be the last time the Olympics don't cheat Shakira Richardson, and this will be the last time the U.S. Um, doesn't come home with a gold medal in 100. Mm. And I feel Shakari lines up against me. Shakari, I uh, b before I let you go, I just I think about you and the highs and lows that you've had to deal with, and you just your dream came true. You dazzled, uh, you dazzled everybody with your performance, but also your words, your hug for your grandma. You've been through so much, and we'll see what happens and what this decision is. But do you plan to keep keep running? Are you going to keep those Olympic dreams alive no matter what? Yes, this is just one game. I'm 21. I'm very young. Um, I'm, unlike most, I have plenty of games left in me to compete in, and I have plenty of talent that backs me up because like, um, everything I do comes from me naturally. No steroid, no anything. This incident was about marijuana. So after my sanction is up, I'll be back and able to compete. And every single time I step on the track, I'll be ready for whatever anti-doping agency to come and get what it is that they need, because this will right. never happen. Shakari Richardson, this is, as I said before, not easy, not an easy moment, but you showed a lot of grace and courage to come on and answer those questions, and I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you.